Are you looking for a guitar pick that really helps you cut through the mix when you're doing heavy riffs or palm mutes? Or maybe you're looking for a guitar pick that could last up to a year while having no effect on your tone whatsoever. Or you might be looking for a guitar pick that glides effortlessly over the strings when you're doing shreddy solos or any kind of sweet picking while giving you just enough harmonic characteristics in your tone to help you cut through the mix and add a little spice to your playing. Well, if you're looking for these things, you have to check out Gravity Picks. I've been playing Gravity Picks for almost a year now, and I play every day as much as I can. I've done shows, I've done studio sessions, and a lot of practice sessions personally and with my band Anastasi. And I have to say, I couldn't be happier with these picks. The tonal characteristics that they give me uh, are amazing. They're subtle at first, but the more you use them, the more you train your ears to hear the things that these picks give you on a tonal level, and you'll find that you don't ever want to play without them. Now you're probably asking, I mean, it's a guitar pick, right? I mean, how, how big of a deal could it be? It's actually a huge deal, especially when you go into the studio. When I go in the studio, I bring my favorite picks with me. If I'm doing any kind of clean guitar playing, I use a certain pick for that. If I'm doing uh, really heavy riffs uh, and with a lot of palm mutes, mostly my rhythm tracks that I record, I'm going to use a certain pick for that. And if I'm going to use the piezo pickup on, on this guitar, uh, I'm going to use a different pick for that too because I want the pick to actually accentuate the notes and the riffs and even the solos and the various things that I'm doing with my guitar and it does come across in the studio uh, in ways that I never thought were possible. These picks are actually handmade one at a time by picksmiths in California from a very high-end acrylic. Some of them will have a non-polished end and some of them will also have a polished end. The non-polished is my favorite for rhythms and the polished end is my favorite for any kind of clean playing or solos that I do. They also have a gold series which is made out of a really high-end thermoplastic that lasts a very long time and increases the volume uh, when you play a little bit and it also has very little effect on the tone. So if you're going to do acoustic playing or in my case the piezo pickups uh, if I'm going to be using those in the studio, I'm definitely going to go for that pick because it's going to give me a really nice buttery sound without all of that annoying pick noise. Now live, I usually just stick with one pick. Now if I'm going to switch to my piezo and it's a song that I actually have time to switch picks on, I will use the gold pick on that. And believe it or not, it really does make a huge difference. These picks come in all shapes, thicknesses, sizes. They have different kinds of holes and different kinds of variations of the holes that they put in them so that you can grip them better and they don't slip out of your fingers. They actually feel very good and uh, I can't believe the different sizes and shapes that these come in. I'll just say this, if you can't find a size or a shape that works for you from Gravity Picks, then you didn't look hard enough because they literally have everything you could possibly think of and a lot of things that you've never thought of. So if you're getting ready to go to the studio, definitely order yourself a couple variations of these picks, and I guarantee you'll hear the tonal differences, especially in a recording situation. I suggest getting an unpolished pick for your rhythms, a polished pick for your solos, and a gold pick for all of your cleans and or acoustic playing. Your sound engineer will be very grateful that you brought those in. And speaking of sound engineers, you guys that are watching this, if you have a recording studio, I can't recommend buying these picks enough. I have friends that have recording studios and they actually have a case full of these picks in there because a lot of guitar players don't really realize how much the pick affects their tone and when they come in the studio, that's really when all that stuff matters the most. And they come in there and they're doing clean tracks or acoustic tracks and they're wondering why everything sounds kind of funny. Well. Now you don't have to EQ all that stuff out because you just hand them the proper pick and everything's going to sound more natural and more transparent. And when they're playing rhythms and they really want to dig in and have it cut through the mix and have that really genty kind of thick, scrapey attack on the strings, hand them an unpolished pick and I guarantee you, you're going to have results that you've never thought you could have before. 
I would equate using the unpolished picks for rhythms by having an extra little kind of oomph in your overdrive pedal. It just gives you that extra attack on the strings and helps the guitar cut through the mix. And it actually makes a bigger statement on those riffs when you're playing them in the studio. Here's a really cool option too from Gravity Picks is they actually make cases so that you can store all your picks in there. So if you have a studio, like I said earlier, and you want to store all your picks right on your desktop there, this is the perfect way to do it. And it's a nice display case. You can see through the top, you can see all the various colors and all the different picks in there. And it actually intrigues the guitar players when they come in. You can open it up and, and I don't know, it's just a nice little experience for them to come into a studio that has a really nice collection of picks that they can try out and enhance their recording experience. This might sound kind of funny to you or cheesy or whatever, but honestly, every time I sit down to practice my guitar, it's kind of cool to walk up to this case and open it up and select one of my picks out of there. It kind of feels like I'm selecting a fine cigar or something. It's like this nice next level quality thing that you get to kind of enjoy every time you practice your guitar. It's a great conversation piece when people come over. They're like, what's that? I've never seen that before. And you open it up and you hand picks out to your buddies and you just sit around and play guitar and talk about the various things that you notice about the picks. Every single person I hand one of these picks to enjoys it and notices the differences right away. Once again, they're subtle at first, but as you play more and get used to what they sound like and how they interact with the strings, you really do get hooked on the things that they do. And then if you go back to one of your old picks later on, you'll hear how dull it sounded and how lifeless it sounded compared to these. They really do make a difference. I'm going to post some links below so you can check these out for yourself. Once again, they have every size, shape, and thickness that you could possibly think of. I use the Sunrise Big Minis. Those are my favorite. And the thickness I use is the 2.0s and the 3s, depending on what I'm trying to do. I think they're really good, and honestly, I've been using the same pick for almost a year now. It still sounds great, and it's still very sharp, and it still has that nice scrapey edge to it. And uh, I don't see it wearing out anytime soon. The link that I'm posting below is a direct link to Gravity Picks website. When you go on their site, definitely navigate through and check out all the different sizes that they have and the different offers that they have. And make sure you order a case because you're really going to dig that case. And once again, order a gold series, order some of the polished and the unpolished ones so that you can try them out and hear for yourself what I'm talking about. Because until you experience it for yourself, you're really not going to believe what I'm saying. And trust me, once you get these, you're going to absolutely love them. And what I would like for you to do, too, is once you try them out, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. They also have a custom shop, so you can get any color that you want for the size that you order. And you can also get your name or your band logo engraved onto the picks. And they also engrave your name on the case. So make sure that you ask them to do that for you. And please tell Chris that I sent you. He's been a great supporter of this show, and I really appreciate the quality that he offers in his product. It just scrapes the string so nicely. Okay, so I'm going to do some sweeps and some kind of fast playing here with the polish pick and show you what that sounds like. <laughs>
picks are worth every dime because once again they're handcrafted by picksmiths in California so they're American made by a great company that really puts out a quality product I definitely suggest trying some of these picks you won't regret it well thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one